It came. What's that smell? It's the smell of luxury, baby. We are going luxe today. Luxurious. Luxurious scents filling your home like you're in a five-star hotel. All of us can have that scent right now. So my husband and I, when we were at the car dealership a few weeks ago, we walked in and I went, oh, what is that smell? I told my husband, I said, do you smell that? It smells like a spa. It smells like those scents you smell in very expensive, luxurious hotels. I said, I've got to ask the people at the front desk what they are using to scent this facility. And he said, oh, no, you don't. No, don't embarrass me. I said, but I have to know it smells so good in here. I can't stand it. He said, Liz, please don't do that. You will embarrass me. So I went, fine. Well, when I got home, I started dabbling on the internet, trying to figure out what all these wonderful scents are in the spas, the hotels, businesses. I had to get to the bottom of it like any logical person would do. So apparently at a lot of these hotels, they use the fragrance Santal. And I guess it's after some wonderfully expensive perfume. And so I thought I've got to give it a try. And I saw several videos where people were saying it was literally the best smell in the world. And I thought, well, my goodness, that's a, that's a big statement there. I might just have to try it. So I got on my computer and I ordered this scent. It's Aroma by Aromatech. And let me just say that so many people were saying this is literally the best smell in the entire world. So I ordered it. You guys, they weren't lying. So I've ordered essential oils in the past and I have to tell you, some of the scents are so strong and so overpowering and they literally make me feel sick. But when I read that this company's oils are non-toxic and they are fine to use around humans and animals, I was like, okay, oh, okay, now we're talking. So let me read to you about it. We're getting into a bunch of other stuff after I share this video. So stick with me, but you will not want to miss this because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook you guys up. You're welcome. So let me tell you a little bit about this product. It's their most beloved fragrance blend, made in New York, and it's bold and intoxicating. And I can vouch for that, it sure is. With delicate smoke and leather undertones, this essential oil and aroma oil blend is reminiscent of luxurious perfume. Oh yes it is. The perfumes I can't afford to buy. Let's just say I'm a cheapskate sometimes and I will not blow three and four hundred dollars on a bottle of perfume. No. So I'm going to give you the 411. Santel Aroma Oil is 100% pure diffuser blend created with the highest quality of raw and natural ingredients. They combined their aroma oils with pure essential oils that are certified non-GMO, vegan, and are free of parabens. DPG, glycols, petrochemicals, artificial additives, synthetic colors, or harmful chemicals. So yes, it's safe. They say that the mood is musky, leathery, smoky, sensual. It is. This scent is reminiscent of Santel 26, a beautiful fragrance. I want you guys to get excited with me because this, this like literally changes everything. You can conveniently use this in any cold air or, or ultrasonic oil diffusers. We have some ultrasonic diffusers. You add 10 to 20 drops to your ultrasonic diffuser, ceramic diffuser, or car diffuser to diffuse essential and aroma oils throughout your home, office, or car. The more drops of the oil, the stronger the aroma. Um, let me tell you, you only need a few drops. I actually wanted to get the full impact. I was so excited when I tried this. I overpowered the whole house. My husband came upstairs he's like, wow, what smells amazing? He's like, but whoa, is it strong? I said, I accidentally put too many drops and I went a little nuts, okay?
you only need a few drops. Take it from me. But oh my gosh, say you're having company and you want the house to fill with this aroma, this wonderful smell. Hook, hook yourself up, you know, put, it, put a bunch of drops in. So Aromatech has an essential oil diffuser Nebu with nebulizing technology, cold air diffusion. And let me tell you the one I want, they're extremely expensive. The one I want is $2.99, it's a mini diffuser. They have bigger ones that are 300 and up and so forth, but I was looking at um, Young Living diffusers and I was like, no, 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 no. I love the looks of their diffusers, but I'm not about to pay that price. Like I said, I'm a bargain shopper girl. So I went on Amazon and I found a diffuser and now these oils work really well with their diffusers, right? But I thought, you know what? What if I drop some in some water? Will it still give me the same effect? Heck to the yes. It sure did. Maybe one day I will save up for this diffuser and give it a try. So there's also other diffusers out there in the market where you use, you order the oil, okay? And it comes in a cartridge. You just take the top off of it, connect it to the diffuser, and you don't even have to replace it for like a month. And it goes on a timing schedule. So it goes for so many hours a day and it shuts off. So awesome. But like I said, they're a pretty penny. So this, what I bought is a great way to get the wonderful smells through your home, making it feel like you're in a luxurious hotel and it works. So I went on Amazon and I decided to get myself a Young Living, I would say dupe, okay? It's an ultrasonic diffuser, it's natural bamboo wood and with hand blown glass, it has plug in, it plugs in and it lights up. It uses LED technology, includes remote control, batteries included, which was a plus. It runs on four to six hour a runtime and it has a 200 millimeter water reservoir, reservoir. It's got Bluetooth peeps. You can literally hook your Bluetooth up and play music through it. Hello. You'll have to forgive me, I'm a little spunky today. I don't know what's gotten into me, but when I get excited about a product, you bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna share. And this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. So anyway, this came from Amazon. I'm, let's, let's, let me go hook it up for you. If any of you are familiar with Young Living, they have um, something similar to this, but it has glass and it's sort of tipped on its side like this. It looks really cute but it's so expensive. So I was like, you know what? They put dupes out all the time. This is one of them. This is real wood bamboo. And then if you come around to this side, it has buttons. It comes with all these buttons, plus a remote, plus the cord that plugs in. I love this thing. I may have to buy another one. I love it that much. My kids are like, what's that? That's cool. I'm like, it's mommy's, it's mommy's toy hands off. So it comes with a little water filler. Put your water in. I'm telling you. So I'm going to take my little dropper, a couple drops in. One, two, three, four. By the way, they have different sizes. I went with the small one because I, I, di I just, I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. Love it. So when I run out of this, I'm going to go big. Let's put the lid on. By the way guys I don't want I don't want to see all of this but I like a cleaner look you know so I'm just gonna turn it to the side wherever I place it push that button shall we add some lights oh yeah baby check out the colors Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You guys have to try this. Get a diffuser that you like, get that scent. Let me know what you think. Hook your Bluetooth up to this and... By the way, I bought the Marriott Hotels Attune scent, but that won't be here for a week. So when I get it, we're gonna try it in this and I'll let you know if that scent lives up to what everybody says it actually is. So. Stay tuned. Yesterday when I hooked up this machine, 
I, I was like, it smells so good. It literally made me want to clean the house. And I, I was like, I need some tunes. I need some tunes. So I went on our smart TV and I think we have Xfinity. So if you have Xfinity or Comcast, you can get, um, uh, 80s hits on iHeartRadio. Holy smokes. That is my new favorite station. I literally rocked out all day to 80s tunes and it was so nostalgic because I had this beautiful scent going music that just brought back so many fun memories of being a kid in the 80s, running up and down the streets and going on our bikes, listening to 80s music, going down to the streams and collecting polywogs and I just, I had such a blast yesterday. So if you guys, whatever, whatever years you were like be a kid, put that music station, try to find it on iHeartRadio. It is so freaking good. I'm not even telling you, they were playing the best of the best 80s music. And I, I was just like, oh yeah, what what's the next song gonna be? And I just, it, memories were just flooding. It was just, it was awesome. Good music wonderful sense and uh, a clean house. I mean, what could be better? It's always nice to have a burning candle. S sorry, construction noises. Anyway, it's nice to have a burning candle that smells good and just to see the flickering of the flames. So I got some new candles I wanna share. So currently, just so you know, this is what we're having done. We're having all the decking replaced with composite decking. We're having new stairs put in and we're also doing an extension uh, to this area, area you're going to see next. And then above it, we're going to be adding Edison light. So it's going to be really cute and we're going to be adding some railing. Now, being that I love that Santel fragrance scented oil so much, I kind of went on the hunt for similar scents. So I found this candle. It's Cognac and Embers and I got this at Home Goods. And it's a, it's a wood wick candle, I guess. And it really smells like if you're sitting by the fire and you have a little glass of cognac on a very cold night and you just want a little something something to warm you up while you're hearing the crackling of the fire and a very small scent of campfire. That's what this smells like. So good. I also got this candle and this one is called Embers and Musk. Let's smell it. Mmm, so good, you guys. They're upping their game with their scents at Home Goods. Some of their candles, I'm like, ew, but these smell high end. My daughter was at Cracker Barrel yesterday having lunch with her boyfriend. And while she was there, she said, oh, mom, you, she called me and she's like, you got to see the candles. Get that one. I liked it just because it said lakeside, but I said, does it smell good? And she's like, oh yeah. Oh, it does. You guys get this one. Now at Cracker Barrel, she found this one. This is Southern Firefly Candle Company out of Tennessee. And this one is called Whiskey Oak. Let's, let's smell it. Ooh. Smells good, and I love the design. Super, super cute. Can you guys even see that? Very, very cute. Love this. The next one is called Wild Lily and Iris. Let's smell it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now, this one, this is a good one. Look how cute. Southern Firefly. Candle Company. Oh, this one I love. It just, oh, you guys got to get this one. I'm telling you, that's a good one. I cannot wait to burn this one. My next one is by Southern Firefly, and this one is called Cedar Wood Rose. And let's smell it. That smells really nice, but oh, that lily one, mm, mm, mm. That's pretty, I like it. While at Cracker Barrel, she got me this really cute Stars and Stripes burlap banner. So I'm gonna hang this from the uh, mantle in the family room. And then I thought this sign was super cute. If you're barefoot, then you're overdressed. Perfect for summer. 
You can get this at Cracker Barrel too. Now you guys may be surprised to learn that I am changing my style here at the log home yet again. I am really loving black with wood accents. Very, I don't know what the word is. Rustic, rustic, woodsy, spa-ish. That's kind of the style I want to go with. So while at Home Goods this week, I found this really cute black lantern and I put some greenery in it. I put some greenery in it and then I'm going to set, let's see, I'm going to put hmm, probably this black candle on the inside of it. Uh, I was playing with ideas yesterday, but that's what I think I'm going to do. Let me see. Something like that. I found some of this. What is it, by the way? I don't know, but I like it. And I'm gonna put it in this vessel. I'm really liking organic-y looking things. So this will be kind of fun to play with in the house. I don't know, I may add more. And by the way, I like this. It's, it's white, it's speckled. Um, so really cool, it's different. It was $24.99 at Home Goods. Then when I went to Michael's, I found these. So I got one that looks like this, one that looks like this. I may elevate this one on some sort of pedestal and have this one down lower, you know, something like that. I may have some greenery spilling out of it. I may do some sort of rustic grapevine ball. I don't know, or a combination of the... I just have an idea. I just had an idea. Something I was gonna use, uh, something I hauled with you guys a couple months ago, I may be able to incorporate it with these. Stay tuned. I got two of these little containers at Michael's. I like it. It's just rustic. You could make a topiary out of these very easily. You can elevate things with these too. These come in very handy. This is really interesting. It's it's not something I would typically buy, but look how cool it looks. Almost like a real, really cool marbled effect. I don't know, I just, I really liked the shape and I thought I could do something fun with it. We're gonna be rearranging my entire kitchen for those of you who want the full on tour of it. I'm gonna share it all with you. And because a lot of you know I'm on the AIP diet, the autoimmune protocol diet, I use a lot of fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. And sometimes I get tired of digging around for them in the fridge and some of them I just want to sit out. So I got this at Home Goods, and I thought I could get a cute tea towel, kind of put the tea towel in here, put my sweet potatoes, my onions, um, you know, just vegetables in here and set it out on the counter and just have it be cute and functional. I found this at Michael's and it's just a wood container and I got some little cute summer flowers, actually two of them, and I'm just going to put them in here and have it look like that. So while I was at Michael's, I came across this cute little sign with the leather detailing right here. And it just says home. And I thought this would be cute on any table or underneath the table with a plant or something next to it. So I'm really, really into wood products right now and tr wood trays. So I got this tray at Michael's. Super cute detail and handles. Love. Now this tray I found at Home Goods. I love this dark color. I love that the wood is kind of wavy. And then they've got cute handles. This is so me. And you could certainly take, I would probably get some sort of little pedestal to elevate this. Um, and you could do like the lakeside candle, something 
you know, cute over here. So I don't know, I'm thinking of doing something with rocks and floral picks and a cute candle. I don't know, I just, I wanna add some like, I'm telling you that scent got my mind going and I'm thinking spa. My next items, these are so cute. So I went and I went to my grocery store the other day, Wegmans, I love that store. And I always find myself down the seasonal aisle. And I came across these and I said, we are getting those because we are gonna redo the kitchen and add wood. So I got this cutting board, love the color of it. I got this one, different shapes. They're working hard out there, I guess. And I got this one. So I have three different shapes and sizes and these are gonna go in the corner of my kitchen. Stay tuned, next week you will see this. By the way, I am going to be placing them in this cute basket, also from Wegmans. So they're gonna sit in this basket in a corner, in the corner of the kitchen. It's gonna be adorbs, stay tuned. Another thing I'm adding to my kitchen is black. So I got these at Home Goods. They say coffee, 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 and I'm going to be decorating them in that basket with the cutting boards and it's gonna be really cute. But I also got something to go with this. Let me show you. Speaking of black, I forgot about this candle. I found this at Home Goods, and what does it say? It says Santel Musk. So I thought, oh, does it smell like the diffusing oil? It does. Not exact, but it smells good. So if you're at Home Goods, pick up this scent. This is going in my kitchen on a black candle holder. This is my new favorite love plates. Look at these cool plates I got in black. I got these on Amazon. Very farmhouse. I love these. They are so easily stackable. And wait till you see what I'm doing with them. Because we have a big family, I got two sets. So you get, I didn't bring all the plates over, but you get the large dinner plates, and I like it because how many times do you have a plate? Say you have a big salad with a little protein, some vegetables, and I don't know about you guys, but when I'm eating my salad, sometimes my salad like is going off the plate onto the table. It drives me nuts. So I, when I saw these, I thought problem solved. So these are super cool. I love them. And I have really cute bowls, and then they came with the mugs too. So you will see the whole collection next week. Got these on Amazon. Very, very soft and smooth, but I love them. Look at the little feet. When you get these, all you do, they come, the feet come separate. You just screw them on and you are done. But hello, check this out. I can do something like this. I think these are so cute. And I just love these. I have another one coming, it's in white. It will be here in a few days. Again, into wood like crazy and black. Wood with black accents looks so, I think. So I got this really cute tray at my grocery store, Wegmans, and not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm sure I'm going to be incorporating this into my kitchen design next week. So I also got this on Amazon. It's wood and I got a whole bunch of wood cooking spoons and spatulas. Very, very, very happy with it. I'm going to open all these. You get all of these in this cute little wood container. Are you seeing where I'm going with my kitchen? Beyond that, I found these on Amazon and I had some other ones and someone threw them in the dishwasher so they faded them out a little bit. I might be able to fix those with some oil, but I love these. So these are going in the kitchen too. And what else? Well, I ordered some of this ribbon 
um, yellow, black, and white. And we're gonna have fun next week because we are going to be adding lemons, wood, wood products, apothecary jars where I'm gonna tie some of this ribbon around the lids and it's gonna be cute. I can't wait to do it with you. So stay tuned. All right, friends, that's gonna wrap up my video for today. Scents are just, they really heighten the senses and I'm telling you that scent got me moving yesterday. I was like, oh yeah, let's clean. Let's get the music going and it just, it's, it made the house smell so good. I loved it. So if you're looking for a wonderful scent that's okay for humans and pets, try it. I'm going to link everything below and yeah, and we're going to have fun decorating next week. So I hope you'll join me. I don't know what we're doing Friday. Stay tuned. Not sure yet. If you follow my health channel, I'll probably have a video loaded for you tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that'll wrap up this video and I will see you Friday. Mwah! Love you guys. <laughs>